Yo, man, what's good, YouTube? It's all day 0511 back out here in another video. And today, man, we're gonna talk about something like this. This, this topic is kind of touchy for me. It ain't touchy for me. Let me change that. I don't get touchy about nothing like this, but this topic has some more more value or more meaning to me because Colin Sexton, man, Colin Sexton was one of the dudes, man, who made me like in high school. I remember watching him. I was in high school watching Colin Sexton, and I was just kind of watching him, bro. Like, he kind of inspired me to go back to start trying to like play basketball and taking it serious, etc. Like, Colin Sexton was that dude, man. Like, that was my hero in high school. So, like, to see Colin Sexton right now and the situation going on with the Cleveland Cavaliers is wild to me. Now, before we get in this video, man, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys disagree or agree with any of these points I say in the video. I'm definitely down to debate in the comment section. But, man, without further ado, let's hop into this, man. We're not going to really touch on any of the, the rumors or anything about We're really just going to sit here and talk basketball facts like we're just gonna talk facts bro i don't care about the rumor of him and kevin love not getting along together i don't care about him being a locker room issue i don't i don't care about any of the reports i think it really just comes down when we're talking about colin sexton is just his market value like i i really don't understand what's the thing with his market value or his not let's not excuse me back it up not his market value but his value to the team as of right now if you guys don't know, man, Colin Sexton wound up going down with an injury that put him out for the entire of last season. And I think with the emergence of Darius Garland, they also made a trade for uh, Karis LeVert from the Indiana Pacers. And also wind up re-signing Ricky Rubio back to a three-year deal, which before Ricky Rubio went out, Ricky Rubio was hooping, man. Ricky Rubio was hooping. And I think that now you're just kind of looking at this team and it's just like, where does Colin Sexton fit in? They also have another guard. I can't think of his name right now. He's a shooting guard. I know that much, but uh, yeah, he's supposed to be pretty nice too. I've seen some things about him. I, I can't really remember his name. If you're a Cleveland uh, Cavalier fan, maybe you can let me know what his name is down in the comment section. But I think Colin Sexton's like fit on this team is just kind of like questionable. It's like, where does he fit in? What is his role going to be? I think that his role is kind of obvious. Like Colin Sexton is a 20 easily a 20 points per game score man definitely got that dog in him he kind of got that fire fiery spirit kind of can rub off the wrong way to some people but i see colin sexton as a competitor i feel like that's one of the reasons why i kind of like him so much is because of his ability to compete and he never really lets down never lets go he's always basically trying to he's playing all four quarters basically man but I think it, the issue with Colin Sexton is, is that when you're looking at him, I think also you have an issue with him only being, with well, Colin Sexton's like 6'3". Maybe he could be a little shorter, maybe a little taller than that. But I know he's like 6'3". Colin Sexton isn't really that tall of a guy. Pairing him back in the backcourt with uh, Darius Garland also, it's it's a pretty small backcourt. Like, let's be honest. It's, it's a really small backcourt. I think they're having the same issues or similar issues as another team in the uh, different conference with New Orleans Pelicans, with Jose Alvarado, CJ McCollum and also trying to run Devontae Graham like those lineups are just kind of like this kind of small and you kind of see those lineups get beat by bigger guards and I think that that's that's their that's one of the main issues but I remember when Darius Garland was drafted that the biggest thing that the GM said they want to do is they want to build a Damian Lillard type CJ McCollum backcourt and I feel like they built that they definitely got that and I think that it also comes down to another big factor that comes down with Colin Sexton is that Colin Sexton is definitely going to get paid. Colin Sexton might not be a max play guy, a max paid guy, but Colin Sexton is going to get paid. I think his deal is anywhere between $20 million, starting out around $20 million. Now, different implications can be added onto that for him to reach that. Different accolades could be put on that, you know, for him to reach that $20 million mark even more. But... Cleveland right now, man, is over the luxury, not over luxury tax. I think they're like $12 million under the luxury tax. Paying Colin Sexton another $20 million puts them over the luxury tax. And I think also as the GM of the Cleveland Cavaliers, you have to kind of sit there and like think, hey, is this team, do you think this team really can compete? You know, and I know they came up a little short last year, but I'm not really holding that against Cleveland, man, because in the beginning of the season, Cleveland was hot. They was red effing hot. And they had some injuries and losing Ricky Rubio and also I think losing Colin Sexton kind of brought out a lot of that, especially when you have Darius Garland. It was a little bit easier to key on and key in on him. Also losing Jared Allen, man. Jared Allen was another huge loss for them too. But I, I just think that when you're looking at this roster, I don't think the Cleveland Cavaliers believe that this is a team that they should be paying over the luxury tax for. But I think that also 
another factor. It, it, it doesn't make sense because when you're talking about the team being over the luxury tax, I felt like you pay the luxury tax this year. The issue with the luxury tax isn't about paying it for one year. The issue with the luxury tax is when you have to pay it year after year after year. And Cleveland Cavaliers right now is set up, I think, on the books right now to have $40 million in salary cap to be able to go after a free agency next year, which is supposed to be the big free agency year. But let's be honest, LeBron was there for, what, four or five years? Let's say after he came back from Miami, nobody wanted to come here. It's not a free agency destination. That's not me taking a knock at Cleveland Cavalier fans. If you're a Cleveland Cavaliers fan, look, I'm a Pelicans fan, my guys. Look, don't, we don't really have, you know what I'm saying? I understand the market there. But what I'm saying is that you're not going to, I think it's going to be really hard to find somebody in free agency that's going to say, hey, you're not always going to go to Cleveland. Let me go there. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I, it's a really weird situation. It's really not funny, but it's wild. I think that there's no team out there that's even matched Colin Sexton. And I, I don't know if that has anything to do with, you know, maybe Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving being up on a trade market. Well, I, for a fact, it has something to do with the market, but I don't know how how much it affects Colin Sexton's value. Because I just feel like some team would offer Colin Sexton the money by now. You know, and I, I mean, there's a lot of teams out there that could offer Colin Sexton the money unless the Cleveland Cavaliers are sitting out there angling for a trade. I know Dallas Mavericks are linked to trying to trade for him. Um, there's another team out there trying to trade for him also. But I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I think it really just comes down to, at the end of the day, it comes down to where does Colin Sexton fit on his team and where do they see him in the long run? Do you value Colin Sexton as a long run? Do you really believe in the Darius Garland and Colin Sexton backcourt? I do. And I think that with the way Cleveland Cavaliers, the way Cleveland runs those lineups with that Lori Market and Evan Mobley and Jared Allen lineups, I think that can be a real, a really interesting thing out there, man. Maybe even Isaac Okora get him some runs out there. Um with those lineups, you know, you want longer guys. And the reason why I mentioned that lineup is you want longer guys, especially with that small of a backcourt to be able to defend defend multiple positions. And I, and I think that, I thought that's what they were testing out this season, man. I really did. I thought they were trying to figure out ways of, if Colin makes a return, how do you, you know, pair this, these groups together and all these two guys together in that backcourt without getting absolutely killed. And like I said, I, I don't know. Like I said, I really just think it comes down to, do the Cavalier, Cleveland Cavaliers believe that this is a team that they want to pay and to the luxury tax for. I think Cleveland is good. I don't think Cleveland is good enough to make a deep playoff run, but I think they are definitely title contenders. Or, excuse me, they're definitely playoff contenders. I think Cleveland is gonna be a team that's gonna be competing in the East. And I just think that letting Colin Sexton go, especially if you're not getting anything back for him, is kind of putting your franchise back a little bit, man. Especially with Colin Sexton, man. We know he's a dog. We know he's gonna go out there and get buckets. His playmaking ability is kind of shaky sometimes, but I, I don't know, man. He, he's still young. Literally, this is his rookie contract we're talking about. So he's only been in the league for four years, man. And, um, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I think Colin Sexton is definitely going to be a really tricky name when it comes down to free agency, mainly because I feel like whoever gets Colin Sexton instantly becomes really good. Like, even if Cleveland doesn't retain him and they trade him somewhere else, like I said, Colin Sexton is easily a 20 points per game score, man. Like, we know he has the ability to put the ball in the basket. Uh, I think some I think some teams, maybe even Cleveland, want to see what else he can do, especially on the defensive side. But, I mean, for certain, you know you're getting a 20-point-per-game score, man. And you definitely know that you're getting a straight-up stud, man, uh, in that backcourt. And definitely can be an upgrade to a lot of teams' backcourts in the NBA. Uh, certified NBA starter, man. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And uh, it's your boy all day, 0511. Hey, man, free Colin Sexton. I'm out.